Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ekechibuchi Nidoman. I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at warfare prayers to reverse wickedness. Warfare prayers to reverse wickedness. In other words, to send wickedness back to the wicked. To send what? Wickedness back to the wicked. Now, the Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Wickedness is real in this world. I want you to know this. Wickedness is real in this world. And listen, you don't negotiate with the wicked. You don't try to appease the wicked. The fact that they are called wicked means that they are unrepentant. The fact that they are called the wicked means that they are unrepentant. Now, a wicked person is wicked because they don't need you to offend them before they hate you. Wicked people are people that hate you without a cause. You didn't offend them. You didn't hurt their loved ones. You didn't do anything to them. They hate you from the first sight. There is something called wickedness at first sight. The first day they saw you, they saw you as a threat to them. The first day they saw you, they saw you as a competitor to them. The first day they saw you, they saw you as somebody that would be a problem to them. They hate you at first sight. They hate you, they don't know you. They hate you, they don't know you. You know, that is nothing like love at first sight because you have to know people before you love them. You can admire at first sight. You can like at first sight. But if you don't know people, you can't love them. But there is something called wickedness at first sight. They saw you, they hate you. They hate you because of your tribe. They hate you because of your color. They hate you because of what you represent. They hate you because you're educated. They hate you because you are quiet. They hate you because, I mean, you are jovial. They hate you for no reason. Praise the Lord. Let me show you what the Bible talks about the wicked. In Psalm 37 verse 38, it said, But transgressors, Psalm 37 verse 38, it said, But transgressors will be altogether destroyed. The posterity of the wicked will be cut off. Psalm 37 verse 38. He said, transgressors will be altogether destroyed. The posterity of the wicked will be cut off. Proverbs 14, 11, He said, the house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. Now look, I love Psalm 94 verse 23. I love Psalm 94 verse 23. He said, he has brought back their wickedness upon them. That is reversing of wickedness. That is a reversal of wickedness. He has brought back their wickedness upon them, Psalm 94, verse 23, and will destroy them in their evil. The Lord our God will destroy them. The Lord our God will, be, will destroy them. Hallelujah. 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 He said he has brought back their wickedness upon them and will destroy them in their evil. And the Lord our God will what? destroy them. Now listen to me, any unrepentant devil in your life, any wicked man, any wicked woman terrorizing you physically, spiritually, secretly, openly, the God of heaven will bring back their wickedness upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. If wickedness is sweet, let them taste it. If wickedness is palatable, let them taste it. The God of heaven will bring back their wickedness upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I want us to pray these prayers together. I want us to pray these prayers together. As you pray them, the, the, the siege of wickedness in your life will be destroyed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And in case anybody is threatening you, threatening your children, threatening your family, relax. Pray these prayers. Pray these prayers and I see God do strange works and strange acts in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, I thank you for fighting my battles in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer right now. Father, I thank you for fighting my battles in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the Lord hear your prayer this hour. Father, I thank you for fighting my battles. Don't just watch me. It is prayer time. Pray that prayer you're seeing on the screen. You are seeing the prayer on the screen. Pray. Father, I thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you, Jesus, for fighting my battles. Pray. Pray. Thank you, Lord, 
Exodus 14, 14 says, you fight for me and I hold my peace. Father, I thank you. Thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you for fighting my battles. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for fighting my battles. Thank you, Lord, for fighting my battles. Ancient of days, thank you. Jehovah Shammah, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for fighting my battles in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you, Father, for fighting my battles in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, pray this next prayer. You need God to defend you against wickedness because wickedness comes like an attack. They attack you from all angles. You need God to defend you. You need God to defend you because some of these wicked men are men and women of influence. They are people that have the power physically to undo you, to bring you down. So you need God to be your defender. You need him to defend you from wickedness. So pray this next prayer. Say, oh God, arise. Jehovah, my defender, defend me from the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of your prayer, that prayer. Oh God, arise. Jehovah, my defender, defend me, O oh God, from the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer wherever you are. Oh God, arise. Jehovah, my defender, defend me, O oh God, from the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. O oh God, arise. Jehovah, my defender, defend me, O oh God, from the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, arise. O oh Jehovah, arise. Jehovah, my defender. O oh God, arise. Defend me from the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. O oh God, arise. Jehovah, my defender, defend me, O Lord, from the wickedness of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Like I said earlier, you don't need to offend the wicked person for them to hate you. That's why they are called wicked. They hate you without a cause. They hate you because of your surname. I'm telling you, there are people that will hear your name and they will hate you. They will hear your name. Oh, he's from this place. Don't give him anything. Make life miserable for him. They hate you because you are Igbo. They hate you because you are Yoruba. They hate you because you are Hausa. They hate you because you are Swahili. They hate you because you are a Hutu. They hate you because you are from California. They hate you because you are from New York. They hate you. They just hate you when they hear your name. They hate you. That is wicked. They don't, they don't even know you. Some people hate you because of your color. They just see your color. They hate you. They just see, oh, this is black. This one is white. This one is Hispanic. This one is red. They hate you. That is how wicked the world is. They have not known you. They have not even have anything to They have not even had the privilege to get to know your kind of person. They have already written you off. Now, we are going to be praying against that kind of wickedness right now. Now, pray this next prayer with me. You say, oh God, let all who hate me without a cause be put to public shame in the mighty name of your Father. Publicly shame everyone that hates me for no reason. They hate me because of my color. They hate me because of my name. They hate me because of where I am from. Oh God publicly disgrace everyone that hates me without a cause in the mighty name of jesus they hate me at first sight oh god publicly shame them in the mighty name of jesus publicly disgrace them in the mighty name of jesus all those that hate me without a cause they hate me at first sight and they have vowed to make my life a living hell oh god publicly shame them in the mighty name of jesus publicly shame them everyone that hates me without a cause publicly shame them lord in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer pray this next prayer say with me say let every wicked assembly against my life let it end in confusion 
any wicked assembly when they gather against me let every wicked assembly against my life let it end in confusion instead of plotting how to bring me down let them begin to attack each other let every wicked assembly targeted against my life let it end in confusion in the mighty name of jesus father let every wicked assembly targeted against me let it end in confusion in the mighty name of jesus my father my lord let every wicked assembly targeted against my life let it end in confusion in the mighty name of jesus oh lord let every wicked assembly targeted against my life let it end in confusion let it end in confusion let it end in confusion in the mighty name of jesus every wicked assembly targeted against me every wicked assembly walking against me let it end in confusion in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ amen we are still praying now many people the wickedness they suffer is from their own families household wickedness wickedness in the house the family members have made your life a living hell some of you watching me right now all your enemies are members of your family they don't want to see you they don't want anything good to happen to you in fact if they see anything good coming your way they will stop it they hate you with passion these are your own family members these are your blood relatives these are people that are close to you these are people that you grew up with but now the enemy has possessed their heart they are frustrating you they are making your life a living hell they are making you miserable wicked mother-in-laws wicked in-laws they are fighting you from all angles but my god will arise my god will arise and dis dis scatter them in the mighty name of jesus christ amen are you set to pray say with me say household wickedness household wickedness frustrating me in my family be disgraced by fire in the mighty name of your prayer prayer every form of household wickedness household wickedness making my life a living hell in my family be disgraced by fire in the mighty name of jesus prayer 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 household wickedness frustrating me in my family be disgraced by fire in the mighty name of jesus household wickedness uh, fighting me my family be disgraced by fire in the mighty name of jesus household wickedness household wickedness making my life miserable frustrating me my family be disgraced be disgraced be disgraced in the mighty name of jesus household wickedness be disgraced by fire household wickedness be disgraced by fire household wickedness be disgraced by fire in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer next prayer now there are people that are around you you think that they are your friend but their heart is filled with wickedness they're around you the bible said the heart of man is desperately wicked you can't know it because what is in the heart can does not show in the face what is in the heart it does not reflect in the face. The heart can be filled with darkness and the face is filled with smiles. Oh, we are happy for you. How are you doing? Oh, we care about you. But the heart is the direct opposite. The heart can be filled with darkness and the face is glowing with light. The face can be glowing with light. Why the heart is filled with darkness? There are some of you right now, your closest friends are your greatest enemies. Now, some of you right now, there are people that are smiling with you, but their heart is filled with wickedness. Their heart is desperately filled with wickedness. If they have an opportunity to undo you, they will undo you. They are laughing with you right now, but their heart is desperately filled with wickedness. So we're going to be praying right now. I want you to pray this next prayer with all your heart. Say with me. Say, oh God expose every wicked heart hanging around my life pray that prayer right now oh god expose every wicked heart hanging around my life in the mighty name of jesus pray that prayer pray that prayer father expose every wicked heart hanging around my life 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Pray that prayer with all your heart. My Father, my Lord, Jehovah, my God, expose every wicked heart hanging around my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every wicked heart smiling at me, expose them. Every wicked heart hanging around me as my friend, expose them. Jesus expose them. Expose every wicked heart hanging around my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see God exposing them right now. I see God exposing them right now. Every wicked heart hanging around your life. I see God exposing them now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Now we are praying against foundational wickedness. There are families that there are, there are wicked powers fighting them in their generation. Generation after generation. When you see that all the men die young. When you see that all the men in the families are useless. This is foundational wickedness. Foundational wickedness. There is no man that is doing well in the family. You see all the daughters, whenever they get married, they end up divorcing. You see, divorce, there's a long list of divorce in the family. There's a long list of violence in the family. There's a long list of stagnation in the family. These are foundational wickedness. These are what? Foundational wickedness. We are going to be praying against it right now. Say this prayer with me. Say, my father, my father, I release fire to destroy every foundational wickedness operating in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire. I release fire. Release the fire of God to go into your bloodline and destroy every foundational wickedness that is at work in your family. Wickedness of frustration. Wickedness of disappointment. Wickedness of poverty. Wickedness of divorce. Wickedness of barrenness. Wickedness of untimely death, wickedness of, of, of drunkenness, wickedness of gambling. Oh Lord, every foundational wickedness operating in my family, I release fire. I release fire. Release fire, child of God. Release fire, child of God. Every foundational wickedness operating in your family operating in your bloodline let the fire of god consume them 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 are you praying are you praying a prayer are you praying a prayer leko shagalate oro baba bayata zozori matendo rabana katelo zezeketano eklemekentonata Every foundational wickedness operating in my bloodline. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God destroy them. Let the fire of God scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every foundational wickedness operating in my bloodline. Let fire consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, turn the causes of the wicked against me to blessings. There are many wicked people that are cursing you every day. They are releasing curses against you. It will not be better for that person. We are going to deal with that person. That person will not end well. That person will suffer. Some of them are even pouring drinks on the floor, making libations and raising enchantment against you. Pray this prayer. Oh God, turn every curses of the wicked against me. Turn it to blessings. As they open their mouth like Balaam, to cause me, let it be turned to blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Oh God, turn every causes of the wicked against me, turn it to blessing. As they say I will be barren, let it be turned to fruitfulness. As they say I will suffer, let it turn to enjoyment. As they say I will die young, let it turn to long life. As they say I will be stagnated, let it be turned to progress. Turn every cause of the wicked against my life, turn it to blessings, uh, 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 turn it to blessings. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, every cause uh, of the wicked proclaimed, uh, pronounced uh, against my life in their coven, in their place, wherever they are, and they proclaim it, let it turn instantly and bountifully to blessings in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, humiliate the wicked with my testimonies. Pray that prayer right now. Father, humiliate the wicked. You humiliated Haman 
with the glorification of Mordecai. You humiliated Haman with the glorification of Mordecai. Oh God, humiliate my enemies. Humiliate the wicked with my testimony. Use my testimony to hide their face. Use my testimonies to choke them. Use my testimonies to shame them. Use my testimonies to publicly disgrace them. Humiliate them with my testimonies. Masoko Torobo Shandalaba Rabano Kasiata Ezuzumateno. Humiliate them with my testimonies. Masoso Prenata Kanoskiata. Humiliate the wicked. Humiliate the wicked. Humiliate the wicked with my testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. He prepares a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, it is for their humiliation. Humiliate the, the enemy with my testimonies. Humiliate the wicked with my testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, use my testimonies to hide their face. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Lift up your hands to heaven. Begin to appreciate God for answered prayers. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. You will honor at God forever. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you have heard us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, you have understood us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, you have answered us. Blessed be your holy name forever. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. You are blessed. You are favored in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to me. This prayer will reverse every wickedness in your life back to the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you have prayed there with me today, give God thanks. Because from today, any wickedness targeted against you will automatically reverse back to the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you to keep praying. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now and subscribe to this channel. And I encourage you to be a member of this channel. If you want one-on-one -on -one with me, one-on-one -on -one prayers, one-on-one -on -one counseling, I encourage you to click the join button there and be a member of this channel. And I see God blessing you more and more in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is still Pastor Ekechum Chinedum and I will see you in the next prayer video. God bless you.